Great day for stocks. Everything up. Dow Jones, S&P, NASDAQ, I guess best since March. Bitcoin up also. Let's talk to David Bonson, Bonson Group Managing Partner. Dave Bonson, um, nobody seems to particularly care about the Biden-Putin talks and the potential confrontation and a potential war. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I mean, for markets to price all that in, I guess there would you know, be a constant fear. There's always geopolitical things out there. This has definitely gotten more interesting. But uh, markets are too busy responding to non-events in COVID to respond to non-events uh, in Ukraine. So if responding to non-events is what we have to do, then uh, there's plenty of people responding to the non-event of COVID to take up all the time. If I, I hate to do this, but I have to. If Putin, who's got supposedly 175,000 troops on the border, if he actually invades Ukraine, what would that do to the stock market, in your judgment? I know it's an impossible question, but what would it do? Yeah, it is pretty impossible. But, Larry, there's a lot of historical uh, precedent for various invasions and border disputes. And usually you do get a little market volatility. And usually it does last about two or three days. Mm. And that's what I would expect in this case. Unless, of course, it was going to turn to a bigger escalation. All right. But um, some- there's nothing we can go off of that's tangible. Bitcoin down. Wow. We'll be right back. I'm Cudlow. <laughs> 